I've worked my can off to get where I'm at today. I can honestly say that I haven't had any help. Everywhere I've been, whether it's been San Francisco, whether it's Chicago, whether it's in the Omni in Atlanta, whether it's in the Spectrum in Philadelphia, whether it's the Garden in New York, makes no difference. I've got thousands of people that hate me, and I've got thousands of people who love us now and who love being part of Idomania. Now, it seems like every time this week, I'm always coming out here and saying roughly the same thing. Every time I come to Knoxville, I have people jumping in my matches. Yes, they want to get on the gravy train. Yes, they want to make reputations for themselves. And they know if they can knock off the idol, they know they are one step away from the world's title. Well, Matador, it's not going to work. I had a man beat. I had him beat right in the middle of the ring when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes someone by the name of Mantell who stuck his nose in my match and caused me to lose it via disqualification. And then when I gave that punk what he deserved, when I was ready to snap his leg in two, he was saved by a masked coward that calls himself the Matador. Well, Matador, I don't know if you know what a Las Vegas glove match is, but I'll tell you what it is. It's this big, black, evil-looking glove that's laced with three silver dollars right out of Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. And it's going to be bound to a pole, and the first man who gets it has the opportunity to beat his man into unconsciousness, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat you into unconsciousness.